good morning children see in this session we are going to find the specific heat of lead shards specific heat of lead shards these are the lead shards see this one these are the lead shards we are going to find the specific heat of these lead shards see what are the materials we are using first one the calorie meter see this one this is known as the calorie meter this is made up of copper okay this is the calorie meter next one thermometer see this one this is the laboratory thermometer this is the thermometer see this one thermometer next one stirrer this is the stirrer okay this stirrer is used to equalize the temperature inside the liquid are you clear this is the stirrer next one steam heater steam heater is not available that is why I, what i am doing i am directly heating with the help of the spirit lamp next one wooden box this is the wooden box okay this is the wooden box and a lead shards are you clear about that one so see this first before starting the experiment take the what you have to do you have to take the calorie meter this is known as the calorie meter and fill 3 fourth of the 1 fourth of the calorie meter with water first finish take the calorie meter find the mass of the calorie meter see this one I am finding the mass of the calorie meter. The calorie meter with the stirrer, along with the stirrer, I am finding the mass of the calorie meter. What is the mass of the calorie meter with stirrer? 55.33 grams. Make a note of that in your notebooks. See this one here, I have written, I am taking one third of water in the calorie meter. Where is the opening this? One third of water in the calorie meter. You keep it aside. Next. mass of the calorie meter and the stirrer along with the water along with the water mass of the calorie meter with water m2 is equal to 123.38 initial temperature of the water initial temperature of the water what is the initial temperature of the water observe the reading What is the initial temperature of the water? How many degrees? See the red mark, indicated mark. Jashwant, come. Twenty. Twenty? Water, T1 is equal to 24 degrees. 24? Right. 24 degrees. 24 degrees pour some water in it water Good. now what I am doing I have taken some water in another beaker I am heating the water ok heating the water let us measure the lead shards I have taken the lead shards I am dropping the lead shards in the beaker okay I am heating this water okay to a temperature of 100 degrees to a temperature of 100 degrees let us wait for some time okay what is the definition of the specific heat the quantity of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of a substance through 1 degree centigrade is known as what we call it specific heat the quantity of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of a substance through 1 degree centigrade here what is the principle we are using heat lost by the lead shards who is losing the heat here lead shards are losing the heat and who is gaining the heat 
heat is gained by the calorimeter at the same time heat is gained by the water inside the calorimeter are you clear about that one so we derived the specific heat what is the formula q by m delta t are you clear next one specific heat of the lead shards is found with the help of this formula already we derived that is m1 into sc where sc stands for specific heat of the calorimeter because it is made up of the copper so what is the specific heat of copper it is given in the table next one m2 minus m1 into specific heat of water specific heat of water is 1 1 calorie per gram degree centigrade okay next one t3 minus t1 we are going to find the values of t3 and t1 next one m3 minus m2 we are finding m3 minus m2 and t2 minus t3 if you substitute all these values you will get the specific heat of the lead shards you will get the specific heat of the lead shards here m3 stands for see this one mass of the calorie meter plus water plus lead shards mass of the calorie meter okay next one water plus lead shards okay what see the temperature what is the temperature is it here mass of the calorie meter plus water plus lead shards is equal to 130 point how many grams 38 grams or you can roughly you can take it as 130.4 grams 130.4 grams next now the water is boiling so what is the temperature here how many degrees 100 degrees how many degrees 100 degrees so here temperature of the lead shards is equal to how many degrees make a note of it what i am doing i am transferring the lead shards into the calorie meter immediately i transferred the lead shards into the calorie meter and i kept the calorie meter inside the wooden box next as of heat is taking place i am stirring the liquid see this i kept the calorie meter inside the wooden box why i kept it no loss of heat okay why i have to stir it i have to stir it to equalize the temperature now what is the temperature in the thermometer see that what is the temperature 23 okay in pass la bit koncham I am stirring the water continuously so that the temperature is equalized. Let us wait degrees. Next, in your textbook, open your textbook. In the table, it is given. Specific heat table is there now. What is the specific heat of copper? How much? 0 0.095. 0 0.095. 0 0 0.095. Very good. Next, specific heat of water is equal to 1. Here I have written. Now, I am calculating this one. M1 mass is equal to how much? Here, mass of the calorie meter is 55. 58.33 into specific heat of calorie meter 0 0.095 plus 
m2 minus m1 how much you got 68.05 Specific heat of water is 1. Next. T3 minus T1. T3 is how much? 35 degrees centigrade. And T1 is equal to 24 degrees. Okay. 35 minus 24 how much? 35 minus 24. Huh? 35 minus 24 how much? 11. How many degrees? 11 degrees divided by T2 minus T3. What is T2 here? T2 is 100 degrees. T3 is how much? 35. 100 minus 35. Huh? 65 into M3 minus M2. M3, what is mass here? 130.38 minus... 55.33. Subtract it. 130 minus 55. You do that subtraction. 130 minus 55. Huh? 5. So, if you do this calculation, you will get the specific heat of the lead shots. Specific heat of the lead shots. Are you clear about that? Write down these values in your notebook. Okay? be taken here here I am writing the precautionary measures to be taken transfer the lead shots lead shots immediately into the calorie meter without any loss of heat energy this is the precautionary measure you have to take 